Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Commander Keen Episode 4 Secret of the Oracle for the PC, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com! Okay, so it's been a while since I did the trilogy of the uh, Commander Keen series Invasion of the Vorticons, so now this is a new series altogether. Uh, obviously, I want to go into the story, so let's see what's going on. Billy Blaze toils in his background workshop, busily constructing his latest invention, the Photachion Transceiver. But in simple words, it's an instantaneous radio. Point to anywhere in the galaxy and can pick up a signal as if you were right there. That sounds very boring. So we picked the, the signal, power to the Shikati or something. Sounds like some kind of mushroom alien race. Destroying the galaxy, apparently. That's what they're trying to do. Gnosticus 4, home of the Gnostic scenes. Bleh. Guardians of the Oracle? So I'm going to Gnosticus 4, apparently. Supper time, Billy announces his mom, blah, blah, blah. Aw, oh, nuts. Okay, apparently they're having nuts for supper. Pulls out the neural stunner, points out the door, and waits. And his mom is frozen in the doorway? What, you don't want supper? Yeah, I'm pretty sure his dad's going to find that very awkward to find that his mother, is, his wife, was frozen. Shikari, we're here. They kidnapped the members of the High Council, blah, blah, blah. Oh, yeah, apparently they're immortal. They just can't be destroyed. They can only be captured. End of text. Okay, I want to get to the game, shall we? So, let's get started, and I'll do this on normal. Okay, so of course that's the bean with bacon mega rocket over there, which you can go into if you wanted. I believe, yeah, let's take a look at the controls. I believe you can just press F1, you can go into the controls right there. Computer wrist, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Use your arrow keys to move around. Enter to, to choose that item if you wanted to. And of course, there's many different difficulties. And determines how many creatures you face and how many shots you have for each neural stunner collected. So if you're on easy mode, you're getting more ammo, but in hard mode, you get a lot less. Okay, fair enough. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I definitely understand what we need to do. The controls in this game are a lot simpler than they were before, let me tell you, that's for sure. And you get nothing special here, apparently. But it seems like the graphics are a little bit better compared to what they were in the previous three games. So let's go to the Border Village. And the music sounds so awesome, too. But just be warned that remember that one hit does kill you. It's been such a long time since I played this game, let me tell ya. It's been ages. You can actually go in the buildings to continue to collect points. Which is pretty cool. We There we go, and just in case I need to shoot some enemies, I can. But watch out for the green stuff, because I believe that kills you. Nice epic statue of a slug. Not that it really means anything. To finish a stage, you just need to find an oracle or find the exit post. Either way, I pretty much like this game. This is the first Commander Keen game that I played. Oh, there's the exit right there. Let's keep looking around for some points while we're at it. Huh. Yeah, you died too, but I did not mean to go in that door. So, yeah. You can just pogo over enemies, you can just shoot them if you want to, you can ignore them altogether. Just watch out for the slime stuff, I believe that also hurts you. And it's nice to get some more ammo while I'm at it. Of course, I don't want to fall on the spikes, that would be bad for us. I don't know that if an enemy is just passing by the doorway, and you just happen to go out of that doorway as soon as the enemy was there, would you just die from it? Sometimes games like this can throw a little bit of BS your way. And we passed the level, but for some reason, he was a bit delayed in that. Okay, I can't swim, so I won't be able to go that way yet. So let's check out the Perilous Pit. Uh, 
Uh, do I want to go down there? Uh, pretty much have to. Oh, good, I landed on a platform. Worst case scenario, I landed on spikes or something. I don't think the game would do that, would they? Oh, let's face it, of course they would. Hidden passage, so you can get some more ammo. Oh, come on, how does that touch you? So, you get to try again, which is pretty nice. There are no checkpoints, however. So be cautious. That was a pretty big dick move, just to have you die like that. Like, I had no way to defend myself. Hmm. Okay, that's, that platform's not gonna do anything. I'll have to look for a way to activate it. So, we just gotta look around for something. Okay, these gems, like this blue one for instance, I believe is a key. Yep, so as soon as you find this blue gem, we should look for a door that has like a blue pedestal. Like that for instance, but this one's red. That mushroom over there looks so derpy. So I'm gonna kill that slug, payback from last time. Oh, another hidden passage. I think I found something that's just worth points. Okay, I see the pattern here. Two short bounces and one big one. So that mushroom cannot be killed. You can only just dodge it. The music in this game is pretty catchy, too. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if I'm moving up faster just by keep continuously jumping while I'm climbing the pole. Ah, there we go. Oh, just watch out for the shovel. I know it's a spear, but come on, it looks like a shovel. Let's be real here. Huh? Okay, I gotta climb up that. But that blue enemy is gonna be a major inconvenience. Okay, I'm guessing that activated that platform we saw earlier. <laughs> oh, shit. I apologize for that S-bomb, but come on. Cut me some slack. It's like this game is trying to throw everything at me. Might as well consider, like, just using my ammo to kill the enemies. But I'm a bit too conservative when it comes to my ammo, and that does come back to bite you in the ass after a while. Like, I was trying to avoid the enemy, and then I got hit by the spear. There, that enemy just had to go. I would imagine I would ble need this blue crystal eventually. I don't know why I keep going down there if I know I gotta go this way. A little bit of a force of habit, I guess. It has been years since I played this game. And I really need to catch up on it. Never even had a chance to practice it, because I've been too busy with other things in life. So I am a bit rusty on this game, I'm not gonna lie. If you came here for Major League Gaming here, it ain't gonna happen. I do apologize, but why am I apologizing for that? There are just some things you cannot control. Okay. So apparently that enemy only hurts you when it spews fire, rather than contact. Okay, I'm facing a major shortage of lives here. Luckily, 20,000 points does give you a life. I really hate to have all this progress nullified because I haven't bothered to save or anything. Hmm. These crystals don't seem to be giving me any points whatsoever. But why have them there if they don't give you anything? That, to me, makes no sense. Why is that a thing? Apparently it is a thing. It's a very weird thing, let me tell ya. 
least that's an easy 4,000 points right there in that little hidden alcove. Just know that whenever you complete a stage, you can't go to it again. So make sure you're just looking around for every single thing that you can find before you leave the stage. There. That way that enemy cannot harass me again. There we go. Now I can breathe a little bit easier. Of course, don't be foolish. Hopefully that platform is now active. Should be able to do something. Up oh, there it is. So now we play the waiting game, and hopefully I needed that blue crystal just to get over there. Hmm, that door looks important. I shall go in. Oh, there's an oracle! Oh, thank you so much for rescuing me! I'll return to the oracle chamber immediately. No sweat, oh guardian of wisdom! You gave a thumbs up to an old man? Show a little bit more respect, dude. Come on here. Okay, let's go to the control panel. I do want to save a game. I'll just call it the LP file. No, I, I don't want to quit. I just want to go back to the game. Yeah, let's do that. So, of course, you can probably only save outside of a level. Slug village? Why would they make a village devoted to slugs anyway? Ooh, apparently those uh, tear stones, if you collect so many, they do give you a one-up. God, I really need to get back to understanding this game. I'm pretty much committing sacrilege just by forgetting about it so much. Why is there a village devoted to slugs? Oh, jeez, it's a fly. Yeah, I was wondering when I was going to actually hit an enemy. Hmm. Okay. So I'm guessing once you activate that switch, the uh, platforms will actually go all the way. So I can get across the fire. Alrighty then, hopefully I'm not skipping- oh jeez! Fire-breathing freak is gonna die. Actually, I don't think the enemies even die, they just get rendered unconscious. But they don't recover, which is a good thing. At least this game is more generous to you in terms of ammo. And the jumping seems a lot more polished. Which I do like. Like, what is this fuzzy, fizzy stuff supposed to be? Is it supposed to be soda? Or is it carbonated blood? I feel like I created a monster with that. Uh, doesn't look like I'll be able to go up that way. Let's try an alternate route. I believe the first part of the stage had some kind of pit? I think it should be safe to drop down there, then. Huh, you can actually climb onto walls, or cling onto them. That's pretty cool. It's always the simple things. I think I could have done that in the other spot. I just didn't realize it at the time. Oh, ice cream is worth 5,000 points. Wow. I know ice cream is awesome, but 5,000 points? That's a bit much. Oh yeah, that explains why I couldn't do that before, because if you're on the pogo stick, you can't really do that. Oh, but you gotta 
do this jump right. Chocolate! Hmm. There's a lot of hidden passages in this game, I must admit. So you should definitely take the time to explore everything. Because you can find yourself with an incredible amount of lives only finishing a few stages, like Mario. Alright, so let's go back over here. Okay, so where is it I have to go? Is it down here? I think this is the way I have to go. I'm only going to be doing this for points? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I shouldn't have to bother trying to kill this freak. It's just not going to work out for me. Can I go back up going this way? Probably not. I should just focus on the left direction. If I gotta deal with that fly, then I guess I have to deal with the fly. Hopefully he doesn't pick me off. Hmm. Idiot. You didn't stand a chance. Or you. I know that enemy there does look harmless. I mean, it's just a red ball that bounces around. He's so happy about it. But I care about my survival more than anything. Okay, so this is the part of the game where you can pretty much just go around any spot you want. It's very open in that regard, which I do like about the Commander Keen series. Hmm, so, which way should I go? There's a lot of pyramids over here. One of them actually has a secret level you can go to. More on that later. I can go in the marshlands to some kind of castle area. A mirage island or a mirage town. And there's just a lot of things you can do. There is like a couple areas you do have to go to in order to advance to other areas. Why don't we do this level in the meantime? Hillville. That worm looks harmless. Slug not so much. Nice background, though. There's like a whole bunch of palm trees and everything. Makes you think it's a tropical area. But it's not. You name a tropical area that is loaded with spikes. Eh, probably a native village with a lot of traps and stuff. But, yep, that's the part where you got a hill. Oh, who are you? Princess Lindsay says, There's gear to help you swim in Three Tooth Lake. It is hidden in Miragia. Thanks, Your Highness. Okay, she just gave me a hint on where I can actually find the swimming gear. It's in a place called Miragia. It's probably that, uh, oh, no, oh. I didn't make it past Hillville, so let's try again. I was doing so well, too, and then I really botched it. So, like, that futuristic area that appears and then disappears, that's probably where I gotta go to, uh, get the equipment that I need to swim. That being said, however, let's just focus on finishing this level. I think it was the hill that screwed me over. Just gave me weird physics. At least it pays attention to, like, a slope physics, where if you're running up a hill, it's going to be slower, but when you're running down a hill, it's faster. This game is definitely well ahead of its time, let me tell ya. Damn it. Okay, I'm trying to find the good timing to land on that good. You really got to pay attention to where the platforms are going. Oh god, that rock actually moves! Huh! <laughs> okay, the red enemies don't hurt you upon contact. Good. But I would imagine those rocks do. 
Okay, we finished Hillville, that's good. So, I think I should stop the video right here, and then the next part, we're gonna do the levels in the icy area. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.